So you're looking to buy a C6 Corvette, but you don't know exactly where to start. Well, luckily, you're in the right place. This is my new to me 2008 Chevy C6 Corvette in the beautiful Jetstream blue. And uh, today I'm just going to show you guys what options personally I looked for when buying a C6 Corvette, and hopefully uh, they will help you out. Um, now, if you guys have previously seen my channel, you know I had a C4 Corvette uh, heads cam, but um, I just wanted something a little newer, a little nicer, I should say, I guess, even though the C4 is still a beautiful car. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into some of the options uh, that I looked for, and uh, you guys can look for as well when looking at buying a C6 Corvette. So the first thing we're gonna start with is actually under the hood. So let me go ahead, open the car up. You got this E latch right here, the E handle latch, which is, uh, it's interesting sometimes, you just gotta get used to it. So under the hood, since this is a 2008, we have the LS3 motor which was something that i was looking for the ls2 is also a good option i believe it's the ls2 is like 400 horsepower crank and the ls3 is just um it's got a little bit higher bore uh that's what chevy did so it's a 6.2 liter let me come to this side it's a 6.2 liter um v8 obviously the ls3 and uh, it's got about 30 more horsepower and 30 more pound feet of torque than the ls2 both are great motors but um with the uh, LS3 you also get the upgraded or more refined I guess uh, Tremec TR6060 manual transmission which is what something that I looked for so I'm gonna go ahead hop in the car and something that this car actually came with was a MGW short throw shifter so that's pretty cool that's first that's second you know a nice short throw which I personally liked and uh, yeah so I guess that was the first option I looked for but you really can't go wrong the reliability on these LS motors are i mean as you guys know they're they're amazing and you really don't have to worry about mileage too much just uh make sure to do your research um check the carfax you know hopefully like they changed oil and um also check to make sure signs of if a car has been raced or not i mean this car is pretty much stock and except it's got a little exhaust on it and some other small things that i'll go into but um so yeah and it was own, owned excuse me by a, an older guy so you know he babied this thing it was a one owner car which is also something great to look for um, when you're looking for a C6. But yeah, so I guess the first thing on my list would be, I wanted the LS3 with the Tremec transmission. So staying with the exterior of the car here, um, another big thing on my list was color. I think if you're gonna get some sort of sports car, especially a Corvette, I feel like, you know, color is important. I mean, that's kind of what you see most of the time. So this is a Jetstream Blue which was, uh, I believe, the ZR1 release color. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, this color was pretty rare, only made in 2008, 2009, so this color really jumped out at me and was one of the reasons why I kind of heavily pursued this car because you don't really see it too much. Um, and I'll get up close up with the flake. I'm not sure how well you can pick that up on camera, but, I mean, it's just a beautiful color. I mean, and there's also other colors I was going to look for was, like, yellow. I think yellow looks really good on Corvettes. I'm not really a big yellow guy, but on the Vets, it looks sweet, and... uh as well as there's a lot of cool reds, I feel like, some burgundies that just look amazing on the uh, the C6s. But I went with the Jetstream Blue, which I feel like you really can't go wrong with any color. And, uh, you know, the whites, the silvers, the blacks, they look cool. But all my previous cars have been, you know, kind of those muted colors. So I wanted to go with something a little brighter. And uh, personally, I, I think it looks great. And I have a lot of plans to do with this car, as, as well as exteriors and interior and engine mods. So... If you guys want to see that, make sure to stick around because uh, I think a uh, heads cam would be nuts on this car, but it'll be a little farther down the line. But yeah, so color. And obviously, if you're going to, if you're planning on putting like a crazy wrap on your car or something, that's always a good option. But I just feel like, um, you know, if you want to do that, go with like a black color. But yeah, I would say color was, was option number two when looking. Make sure to do your research on all the colors out there and get the one you want. So the third item is going to be on the interior of this car. A couple points to hit here, actually. So um, let me come on in the car and if you guys look at different packages, there's like the 1LT, 2LT, 3LT and I believe it goes up to 4LT. Um, you'll have tons of different options and an option that I really wanted was a touchscreen with Bluetooth. Um, I just think, you know, personally for me, just having a Bluetooth connection with a nice screen, uh, one, it looks better and two, it's like really convenient because I love to listen to music and drive um, and obviously you can do that without the touchscreen with like some sort of like aux cord, but um, obviously this is not the standard head unit, but you can get, um, Corvettes with the touchscreen from factory and, you know, either way you can't go wrong. Um, I guess another thing to mention too, with these C6 interiors is, um, they're really plasticky. So, and I know like if you've been in a C6, 
um like everything is, is plastic i mean there's nothing wrong with it but i guess when you're test driving your car um make sure to go over some bumps make sure there's no crazy rattles i know like the mirrors can rattle which this car had no rattles which was another reason why i knew it was really nicely taken care of i mean the seats don't have too much wear on them and there's no rattles so that's perfect so i guess yeah make sure um go over some bumps like this is all kind of i don't want to say cheap plastic but i mean the the dials have a good feel to them they have a little there's like a little rubber um like outline but just make sure to check over everything and uh hit some bumps while you're test driving just to make sure that there is no crazy rattles so another good option that you can actually get on these cars from factory which i wasn't even like necessarily looking for it but this car does have it is the heads up display i mean I, it's right here that's how you know that your car will have it and i believe um something interesting about this car is uh, it didn't originally have the heads up display but it has the factory heads up display and this is something you can do with every car so we'll come back inside this is the column for your heads up display you can control like how to move it different modes um and then moving it up and down on the windshield it will be displayed you kind of see the outline right here um there we go right where pops is sitting um so if your car doesn't have heads up display like mine didn't it'll come with this blank um but you can actually the cool thing about the heads up display is um if your car if the year of your car which i'm not 100 percent sure if every single c5 or sorry c6 from 2005 starting on to 2013 if they all the years had a heads up display option but if your car did have a heads up display option the ecu actually has the the factory code in there so what you can do is you can purchase a factory heads up display and plug and play kind of as you go you got to buy that little bezel that i was showing you um and then as well buy like the little like reflector um for your dash cutout but the, the nice thing is the cutout lines are already there um on that side let me come back around but yeah so basically like the ecu already has the code running around for there's the cutout i'm talking about the ecu already has the code for heads up display so if that's something you really want which i honestly love it like it wasn't something i was looking for but now that i have it you know it just makes life so much easier looking at the rpm you can look at oil temp you can look at speed anything you want cycle through a bunch of different modes um that's something you can definitely look for as well so a couple extra goodies that came with the car that i wasn't necessarily looking for but it does have on it it's got a backup camera that is mounted through here this is like uh obviously aftermarket option but it's pretty clean you don't really see it you don't necessarily need a backup camera it's a pretty small car but i enjoy it with the head unit that uh, i have the touchscreen in there but uh that's always something cool to look for as well as this car does have some bilstein shocks that were put on aftermarket by the previous owner and um it's lowered about an inch in the in the uh, in the rear and an inch and a quarter in the front and the stance i think is pretty good especially we can fit a bigger tire on the back there um but yeah so that was something else that I wasn't necessarily looking for the car. It also has like a cold air intake and it also has um, the MGW short throw shifter, which um, again, I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily looking for it, but it's just kind of a bonus that came with the car. So when you're looking for a C6, you know, there's tons of different things that can kind of like, these are things that I would have done, but um, oh, it also has ceramic brakes as well, which was an upgrade. And um, they are just, they're awesome. Gotta love the ceramic brakes. And also the C7 Z06 replica wheels um, this car has on it right now that came with the car. Ooh, someone's ripping it back there. But um, yeah, so there's just a tons of different things you can look for. But the main points, like I said, that I was looking for was had to be a manual. The LS3 motor, which again, LS2 is um, very good motor as well. You know, no disrespect to the LS2. It's an amazing motor. Can't go wrong with either. Um, and then the touch screen and the heads up display. Those are beautiful. All the C6s, I'm pretty sure, come standard with a target top at least. So if you don't like the convertible look, like my last C4 was a convertible, you can uh, still take the top off and cruise. And the top just stores right in the back, which I'm sure you guys know. Let me open her up. And hopefully the alarm doesn't go off. There we go. So the top, tons of room back here. This car actually has an upgraded sound system, so there's a sub. But yeah, so the top just hooks right in these two hooks back here and it uh securely latches down and it's kind of awkward to carry you can't really avoid getting uh, fingerprints on it but um you know you kind of get the best of both worlds if you love the look of the hard top like me you know you don't you're not a huge crazy fan of the way convertibles look which i understand personally i like the way convertibles look with the top down but 
Um, yeah, so this is kind of like a remedy with that, with the C6, something that I love. And you can get that with the C5 as well and the C7. Um, pretty sure, and the C8. I'm pretty sure a lot of them come with like the removable target top type style. Um, but yeah, and actually there's one more feature on this car that is really cool that I want to show you guys. Um, it's an active exhaust. And uh, I'll show you guys kind of how that works. So the last cool feature that this car has, um, and the usually the Z06 and up models came with this, but you can actually buy, again, like the OEM style um, kit for this and put it on your car and it'll be clean just like the way it was intended at GM. This car has an active exhaust and how it works, basically your mufflers have this little flap um, in there and it's kind of dark. I don't know if you can see it, but no, nah, you definitely, there you can kind of see the flap. And basically those flaps will open and close the mufflers and you can have your car quiet and it sounds like a vacuum or you can push a button and have it loud so i'm going to demonstrate that for you guys but right here this is um where the previous owner mounted it right on the shifter so that's pretty cool and uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how that works but like i said that is a factory option for z06 and up models not sure if the grand sport had it but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate how that works it's pretty cool And also something to mention with the uh, active exhaust is if you have it on quiet mode and you go over 3,500 RPM, the exhaust knows to open up and it really gives you that sound. So if you don't want any droning at a low speed, um, you just kind of want to chill out, then this is perfect for you. And if you want to get into it a little bit, have a little bit of fun, the uh, exhaust opens up automatically, which is, I think, pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for my personal buyer's guide for a C6 Corvette, just things that I looked for. And if you have any questions on any of the things I mentioned or, you know, topics maybe I didn't cover, put them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to go ahead and respond to you guys. Um, and also, guys, if you're uh, interested in how this car is going to turn out and the build of this car, make sure to uh, subscribe and, you know, follow along. I have tons of plans for this car and uh, it's going to be pretty sweet when I'm done with it. You know, maybe a little heads cam action, maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, just some some cosmetic mods to make this thing look a little more menacing my own personal touch on it but i mean it looks great from from factory but um i think uh, some z06 wide body fenders or quarter panels would look sweet just so you can fit a little bit of a bigger tire on it but uh yeah guys make sure to go ahead like subscribe and uh again let me know if there's any questions in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer them so till next guy till next time guys i'll see you later peace out y'all